Hi guys, it's part two of um, framing up the inside of our bus. So we pretty much got the, the, we've got the ceiling all framed up and I love the vaulting that we're getting, the effect that it's gonna have. Now we're focusing on getting the framing around the base of the floor so we can tie into that. So we just cut the first board at the angle that we need and we're now a test fit. One of the things is at every rib it kind of bows out a little bit and back in. But I think we can pull some of that straight. So it's a 16th fat still. Yeah, we just gotta take it down about another 16th, maybe an eighth. So we'll get that dialed in on this first one and then we'll cut them off. Yeah, that's why we did the test fit, right? Yep. I had to, that, we ripped them skinnier so we could get that angle cut from that small table. So. Okay, people, round two. We cut there we go. We cut a little bit more off it. Ah, oh, perfect. Just what we're looking for. No gaps. Perfecto. Awesome. So What's now, up with that, YouTube? It fits. You're in the sun, man. Oh, yeah. The sun is out. It's cold out there, but soon it'll be radiantly warm in here. <laughs> that sun is just warming up the sides. Oh, man, the sides are, like, really warm already. Ooh, they are. We're not going to need the propane heater today unless the clouds crowd us. YouTube, we just ripped the boards to go along the floor, and now we got to cut them at an in, uh, one and a half degrees to match the angle that our bus happens to have. So we're making progress on the framing. That's a rough cut. That saw didn't do that in one pass, just so anybody gets confused. We cut an inch and a half the first pass and then came back and made the second cut. It will do it, but it was a real slow and a struggle for the saw, so we chose to make two passes. And we like our saw. We don't want to. That's right. I, I love it. A, I, should, I, I bought that and I'm not sponsored for that either. But that rigid saw and the chops I've been using are awesome. I love them. I did get them on the Black Friday sale, though. We're putting a frame around the bottom of our floor. It's not a traditional house frame. So. I know. I so, call it the bottom board. Bottom board? Yeah, we're screwing down the bottom board. The cool thing is, come and put your camera right here. You can watch it. Suck in. Suck that. Suck it out there. Right uh -huh. there. Watch it. There we go. Yeah, we are tied, <laughs> baby. Plus, we put the foam underneath it. And we're using these to push it down all uniformly so we know it's all down the same. And we put some um, spray foam. draft coming up through that crack. <laughs> it's not going to be a drafty crack. So we have got um, this whole side done. So we're just filling that crack in with that spray foam in a can from the box store, right? Yep. You can also see that we've got our um, wood already pre-drilled, ready to go up. Okay guys, here's an update of how we're doing. We've got the boards all around the base of the floor. 
the majority of the walls are up. There's only like one or two that we haven't. And now we're starting to work on these guys. Oh yeah, baby. So I love Randy's philosophy. That's always been eliminate the known. So we are currently doing all of the ones that are wood to wood. And then we will proceed from there. But these, these are the easy ones. But these ones, not. So it's easy on this end with the crepe jig. Because it's wood to wood. Yeah, but over here I gotta go get a self-tapping screw to re I think I can buy some metal, some that are made for metal studs that will go right in there. But I haven't got that dialed yet. That means another trip to the hardware store. Means what's up YouTube? I'm going to the big box store. I'll show you how to drill a curved hole. Oh, cool. Right? So down here, I got my great old pocket jigs. Mm -hmm. Pocket jig holes. But on this end here, <coughs> I got to put one of them self tapping screws like this because it goes into the metal and not into a piece of wood. This. See, I drilled down straight till it was buried. Mm -hmm. Now I can. So I've been under the weather for three days, homesick and bad, and um, it is amazing what Rainy has gotten accomplished. I'm so proud of him. Um, it's beginning to feel like a home inside. And then one other thing, we were, um, trying to drill those at an angle to attach them, um, but, the angle was just too much to get cut. So instead, he came up with this concept, which worked a lot easier for him. So we just want to thank you guys for following us along on this journey and know that we really, really appreciate your support and love each and every one of you guys and hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.